Harry, welcome back to the Hummingbirds Off the Deep End, the Jägermeister Workbench. And Harry, I got to say, you know about fishing jetties and I've, piers. I've done a little bit of that stuff, you so sure I've have. done pretty good. Uh, we're talking about our king sailfish mounts. Uh, mackerel right there, that's something that off the piers and jetties you're going to get all the time and stuff. And there's little tricks and techniques on getting that stuff out there. Uh, one is, is downsize your tackle. Don't go real heavy, you know, 20 pound mono. Go to 10 and 15 pound for mackerel. And a particular jig like this, it's a sidewinder. Now that thing darts around real fast. And mackerel like hitting something that's really quick that's, that's out there. So you're going to wing that out as far as you can and just reel as fast as you can and just jig it a little bit. And the mackerel will go crazy over that. Now, if you want to slow down your, 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 your thing, deal. Now this again, this is like a three quarter ounce to a one ounce uh, spoon. Now this is another deal. You're going to cast it pretty far out. And if, if you see pilchers in the area or any other bait fish that's in that area also, Rick, you want to be able to just work that area because those mackerel are hanging around those big schools of pilchers and everything. And you want to be able to wing something like that out. Uh, you want to get out a little further. And there's all different kinds of these leaded spoon, spoon type, type jigs, jigs that work really, really well. This thing will throw, you can throw that thing out a mile. You, you know, you'll be the furthest guy out on the pier to, to, to get that out there. And uh, they hold up really well. They're not that expensive, and they, and they work really, really well for mackerel. Um, if we're going to switch it up a little bit, and you want to start, you know, pompano, it's, that's a cool little fish to catch out there. Uh, really is, good to eat, obviously. Oh, man, really good eating. And uh, this is a double hook rig. You got your pyramid lead. Now, what's, right. the, what's good about the pyramid lead is when you cast it out there, it's going to hold bottom really well. Right. Or if it's an egg sinker, it's going to roll across the bottom and the, the rig's going to be moving around a lot and it's not doesn't work as well. So that's it's a, that's that type of deal. And you're going to use a sand flea on here. Okay. Now sand fleas, which we use here, this is something we actually just started carrying at Harry's now, uh, which we never did, but off our beaches out here, we get these sand fleas. And you'll take this and you'll just go, you'll see it's these just little... rakes. You just take a scoop of sand right off well, of the beach, right? What you're going to look for is you'll see those little water spots coming up when you walk the beach, right when the water comes in and out. And, and I learned a trick from this one of my guys, Roman, my, my manager at the shop. He goes at night. Night! He says nighttime, they're, they're, you'll see twice as many at night. And he says you just scoop up, you'll have your limit of... <laughs> you'll so fill your so bucket he's catching the bait at night? Catching them at night. Is throws he fishing them in his five at night too? No, he puts, he puts them in his five gallon bucket and he's okay. ready for the morning bite. So he'll uh -huh. go either early, early morning when it's still dark. And he's got a flashlight and he'll use that flashlight. And uh, it works phenomenal. Now, you also, you got these little jigs that work real well. That's this particular jig for Pablo, casting off the, the beach, off the pier, that particular jig, you're gonna wing it out there and you're just gonna just pop it. And it darts work back it and real forth slow. And it's gonna, it's gonna dart, point, it's point, gonna point, do point. all kinds of weird stuff and you're gonna pop it and pop it and work it. You're driving the cameraman nuts over there trying yeah, you to probably follow that, are. you know? And then not to pass up on your snook. You're gonna have your snook around your, you know, the hocktail, this jig has been around forever. It's a great, great jig and it works phenomenal. Uh, for snook, not that you won't get a mackerel on that either. And then also, which is old reliable, it's actually not too old, but these little guys right here, the DDXs, um, it's a grub tail right. type, big rubber thing with a big hook. Now this is for snook fishing. Yeah. This is for off your jetties working the current, and it's got this a much heavier head on it. Because anytime you have current, you're gonna want weight. You're gonna be able to work that bottom as much as you can. Because those snook are on the bottom, ready to ambush something going by. So it works really, really well. And there, there's other other lures again out there that'll, that for casting out there. And getting, they all look like some there. type of bait, which is kind of really cool. 